now we can crack that loose. It's great to really good. T40? Pass that way to this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I won't wait. Okay. No, Shadow. You just need to be nice. They're just people. Nice. No, we'll go through here. No, Shadow, come here. Come over there. Oh, that's turned nice and easy. Okay. So I'll do about half a turn with taps, and then I'll tighten it back up. Yeah. Just because there might be sludge in the threads. Yeah, just to clear them. Yeah, because they don't want it building up and then having the bolt break. Because this is a this is an aluminum head. Yeah. They do that for um for weight and cooling. But um, that also makes it extremely fragile. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not super easy to do. Yeah, they got way easier now that I um, no, tightened it. Oh, now you tightened it, yeah. Yeah, I did it. Yep. Oh my god, that sounds like it's really pretty fast. I can't tell the broken eyes on it. Yeah. Can you cross it across? Yep. As long as you know what you're doing, it should be good. Well, also, with the West Coast from the East Coast, they're riddled with rust. Oh, yeah. Is that just how they make it shitty? Or? No, it's just like you know, the spring looks pretty nice shit on the road, and it's just salty. Oh, really? Because the ocean? So, you know, the 15 year old Sprinter, you know, they get rusty. Yeah. No. Now I'm going to pull off the fuel lines. Yeah. Take no. off the little clip, yeah. pop off the, the train line. It's plastic and brittle. Yeah. Uh, 14. There we go. Wrong size wrench or something. This is the fuel lines. Look how easy that was. Fuck yeah! So that's where I was leaking through. So I sprayed it with oven cleaner, scrubbing her down, my tripod broke, so. Here's my progress. Looking good. So here's how I'm doing this. I have a pick, right angle. You just gotta be careful. I'm gonna just wrap it up so you don't scratch anything. You don't wanna screw up the seal face. said I could be anything, so I became a human air compressor.
It's really gently. We're just trying to clean out the threads. If it's not clean, we don't need to put the proper torque on it. We could have a problem. You don't want to replace the head. It's over a thousand dollars. Okay, so starting in nicely. By hand. Oh, up until this point. You want to be really gentle because um, it's going to be totally clean of any fluid because if you tighten it down, it can create hydraulic force and break your really thin aluminum head. Looking a lot better. Okay, I'm ready to grease up my injector with some uh, high temp grease and reinstall. So, as you can see, everything is clean as fuck. We don't see any gas erosion pathway. Okay, the seat's not polished, but it'll be fine. I'm just gonna spray a little PB blaster for uh, erosion prevention. Go wipe off PB blaster. Here, got the injector nice and clean. Can't use a wire brush on the nozzle, but clean the seal face. Don't want any deep scratches. Okay, so I've got a piece of coating grease on this. High temp grease. Let's pull this plug out. Inspect for debris. And you can just feel that it's in place. Brand new bolt. Okay, so you can't ever reuse a hold down bolt because they stretch. You can't reuse a seal ring either. I need to put that on there. Okay, I greased the uh, injector with high temp grease. Okay, go left. You feel the click. Okay, let's actually. Hold on. Let's just triple check. That bolt's always totally clean. Make sure this one. Good. Okay. Hmm. Real simple job. <coughs> Very important to use the torque wrench. Cut with anti seize, use a new copper seal, use a new bolt. 62 inch pounds, and then 90 degrees. Okay, so this is what I got. And it goes to 100 pounds. I mean, definitely once I feel it click, then I will. Uh, degrees for now and this is not the right tool to use okay there it just okay hear that it's very slight because it's at the bottom of the scale let's just go 45 degrees 
Here's a moment of truth. Don't want to break the fucking head. Ah, this is improper, man. You need the right tool. Fuck, this is a risk. Calling that good. Now I'm just gonna feel it very carefully. German torque spec. Good and tight. And yeah, it feels pretty good. I don't think it's gonna break. Okay, as far as I'm going, I'm gonna keep everything as clean as possible. Like right after you shut it down, take some time to depressurize because um, it can kill you. Because it's very high fucking pressure. Like 20,000 pounds. Okay, so I'm cool, that good. Alright, guys. Give me your eye protection. 